Hi, I'm Ms. Janice Chia. It's good to meet you and uh, thanks for coming to share with us, uh, with me at the National Critics Choice Online News. Um, please do tell, tell us more about how is your experience uh, able that's, uh, that has enabled you to, to, to set up a, a latest series of, of events called the uh, Aging Asia. You, know, uh, you founded the company uh, known as the Experiential Events Private Limited and everybody is wondering how you created this, this concept, you know, was it sheer uh, imagination or was it through your own experience uh, and so forth? Uh, could you share with us, you know, or what, what is your secret? No problem. I think a lot of it comes from my experience when I was growing up as a child. I've always been close to family. Um, even when I was working in Australia for the five years before coming back to Singapore to start my own business, I've always um, taken the time to make three to four trips back to, to Asia to visit the family. And as I watch my closest family members age, my 92-year-old grand-auntie, my grandma, who, mm, my two grandmothers, and they, they're both uh, in their 70s and 80s, um, I realized that the way they age um, it's going to be significantly different from the way my parents' generation ages and future generations. For example, my grandma's generation, it's about watching television. It's about, um, uh, in terms of social activities, it, it's very limited. However, when I look at my parents' generation, these, these are the baby boomer generations that wants to, they want to travel in terms of lifestyle. They're not going to want to stay in a nursing home that says you have to eat dinner at 7 o'clock. <laughs> We're going to switch off all the lights at 9 o'clock. No, they're going to want something different. They're going to want um, a variety of different options, be it uh, retirement villages, be it a home that is designed for aging in place. These are um, some of the options that I was thinking about that went through my head when I first started with the idea of wanting to create a forum called Aging Asia Investment Forum. Yeah. And what was the secret in, in creating this Aging Asia uh, Investment Forum as a brand? I mean, how do you manage to take it off to such a scale today? Um, um, during my time that I spent in Australia, I spent a lot of time um, in the retirement village and aged care industry um, through my past working experience. So I got to know the key industry players. And through that, I realized that, hey, why is it that um, Australia and US and all the Western countries had really nice environments for seniors to age, whereas in Asia, everybody only knows about the depressing, gloomy nursing homes that none of us want to go to. So that got me thinking that um, I wanted to create a brand that uh, would bring, would increase exposure to this industry. So when I founded my company, I looked, um, I told myself that I would look at um, looking at creating event brands that had both social and economic agendas. So Aging Asia Investment Forum is something that came close to what I wanted to be as, a, as an event brand. And uh, so, so that's what we did. We, we launched a conference looking at economic and social opportunities in aging. Um, there's so much talk in Asia about Asia's aging population. So much talk about the challenges and how difficult and how much government funding is going to be needed for the aging population, lack of pensions and all that. So I thought that, you know, this is, this is you know, all well and good, we know that there is a lot of problems, but let's turn it into an opportunity for businesses so that we can increase investments in this industry, let's get the media's attention and increase um, exposure to this industry. Um, businesses will only do something if there is a commercial interest. They need to know that we can actually run retirement villages, nursing homes, products and services for seniors as a very um, interesting and lucrative market. They needed to see the market demand. So which is why we look at, okay, they, uh, when, I, when I did my research, um, a lot of what I do for Aging Asia is about research, knowing the industry, knowing what baby boomers are going to spend, knowing what companies are going to be uh, spending on in terms of uh, what kind of product are they going to deliver. So as a result of the, the research, so the brand came out, um, Aging Asia Investment Forum that we would look at um, products and services for seniors in Asia. However, we would look at it from the business angle. So uh, from the very start, I knew that any event that I created, it would be business platforms, but um, it would also have uh, social agendas. So Aging Asia um, introduces economic opportunities in Asia with the aging market, and the social, social part would be as a result of every forum and the bigger the forum gets, we get more, more and more media attention that highlights the opportunities in this industry. So what's next uh, for you, you know, in this uh, 
this program that you have created, Aging Asia Investment Forum, uh, would we get any bigger? And do you see uh, yourself creating more newer events? And, and if you are, uh, what are they that you have identified? Yeah. Some of the directions I've identified for this event would be, okay, in 2010, last, uh, last year when we created the forum, we did um, retirement living and aged age care. So this year we did healthcare and aging well. Every year we introduce a new component and next year um, we're going to be looking at other areas that we can add to this category to widen the number of business and government and community leaders that can come to it. So from education to government and then also looking at um, cities, age-friendly cities. So and then uh, the other thing is that we also design conferences for other organizations. For example, um, the Rotary Club of Jurong Town has just recently hired us to design a age-friendly employment conference for them. And the aim of the uh, and why they hired us was because we could design the conference program in such a way that would deliver the right audience, which is what one of my uh, core company values is: is to is to enable businesses and to bring the right audience together. Because um, a lot of um, organizations organize events, but the, at the end of the day, it's about the audience that they bring together. So that's what that's what we. Do. Oh, okay, great, uh, Mr. Janice Chia. Thank you for your enthusiasm, and we look for uh, more of yourself and your programs in the near future. Thank you.